Hey guys, Josh Ackley here with the Raspberry Golf Academy. Today I'm at Virginia Golf Center, and it's an interesting time in the world, but hopefully some of you can get out and practice here in the next few days. That being said, today I'm going to talk about swing length, which is a really important part of making solid contact with the golf ball. I see a lot of people try to swing to parallel, no matter what their body type is, no matter what their age is. So, not everyone needs to swing to parallel. You'll see some people like kids swing past. You'll see some people as they get older in life swing shorter, and that's because that matches their body type. So for me, I naturally swing to around parallel, and I go to the top of the backswing. But if you can't do that easily, it's forced, as in when you do a practice swing, you stop here, and you have to struggle to get it back there, well then you probably shouldn't get it back there in your golf swing. It should match the amount of rotation you have. Whenever your rotation is done, that's the end of your backswing. So I'm going to hit a shot now, and I want you to notice when I'm done turning this way, I just go that way without what's called run on to the top going past my rotation. Finish turning that way, go this way. So if you want a bigger backswing, as in your backswing is too short, then you need to work on getting a deeper turn. Or maybe you need more of a set at the top. But most people I see don't need to get bigger, most people I see need to get shorter. What they do is they finish rotating and then do too much wrist set or too much arm lift. That's called run on. So the easiest way to make your backswing shorter if it's too long is to do less with your arms and wrists at the top and simply to, once you're done turning this way, turn back the other way. So even if that's here, then that's a full swing for you. So a lot of people as they get older lose flexibility. I teach them to just swing there and down and you actually hit it further swinging shorter than doing run on and forcing it further back losing all that energy that you build up. So I'll demonstrate a shorter swing which I turn back and turn through but there won't be any run on. So that swing was a little shorter than the last one and for some people that would be a complete swing. You see people like John Rahm and Tony Finau with short swings that hit the ball really far. We've also seen people who are successful swinging long, not John Daly long, but you can be successful either way, it just has to match what you're actually capable of doing and not forcing it. I'm Josh Apple and that's your tip of the day.